I removed the bar from the chainsaw and it's time now to inspect it. We're going to begin by putting the bar on a flat surface and checking to see if it's bent. If the bar doesn't fit flush up against the surface and light appears underneath the bar, then it is bent and needs to be discarded. Then we're going to check for cracks or unusual wear. If either of these are detected, the bar is probably not repairable and needs to be discarded. We'll check to see if the tip spins freely and we'll place a new chain in the rails to see if the chain rocks back and forth. If the chain rocks back and forth too much, this is a sign that the rails are beginning to wear on the inside and the bar also needs to be replaced. Then we'll use a square to check to see if the rails are level. Now if the rails are not square across the top, it is possible to fix this situation. Let's go over to the vise and I'll show you how. Begin by clamping the bar in the vise. Now using this dressing tool, file the bar's rails until they are both equal. Be sure to keep the file tightly up against the side of the bar. Always wear gloves. A worn rail can have very sharp edges. Once you have completed filing the top of the rails of the bar, it's time to deburr the side of the rails. Using a flat file, file the sides of the bars until the edge is gone. Now when we talk about bar tips, there's two types of tips out there. There's a hard nose or solid nose bar, and then there's a sprocket nose bar. These sprocket nose bars have a gear and a bearing on the inside. It also has a grease hole. Now, there is two schools of thought when it comes to this grease hole. One is, keep it greased constantly. The other one is, never grease it at all. Now we're going to leave that up to you to decide, but we're going to go ahead and grease this bar tip. To grease a bar tip, first you want to remove the dirt and debris from the grease hole. Then, put the grease fitting in the hole and pump the grease into the bar until you see it come out the hole. Flip the bar over and repeat it on the other side. Now that we have dressed the bar and greased the tip, it's time for us to clean out the rails of the bar. Using a thin bladed screwdriver, run the screwdriver down the rails of the bar cleaning out any dirt and debris. Pay a special attention to the oil hole. Make sure you clean the dirt and debris from the oil hole so that the oil can pass from the oil pump passages into the bar to lubricate the chain. If you're unsure of the condition of the bar, it's best not to put it back onto the chainsaw. It could be a safety issue. Remember, that chain turns at a high rate of speed, and it could be dangerous if that bar fails. Well, we've greased the tip, dressed the bar, and cleaned out the rails. It's time to move on to the next step. 